we were all asleep in the dirt, man, in the dust of the earth before the Lord uh, brought us back to who we are. All right. And, but it says some to uh, shall awake, some to everlasting life. All right. So the Lord said he gives us life through his son and through these scriptures. All right. We lose our lives for his sake. We shall find it. OK, so we're finding life as we speak. And it says, and shunts to shame and everlasting contempt. So the two thirds are going to have shame and everlasting contempt, man. They're going to walk around with their heads down to shame because they know that they were Israelites. And though they received the kingdom of heaven, they didn't do it righteously as the Lord set up for it to be done. Because Zechariah 13 and 8 says two thirds of our people have to be cut off and die. OK, it says, blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection on such that the second death hath no power. OK, so that's speaking about um the whole blesses the holy that's speaking about the elect because the elect are going to receive the uh first going to come around the first resurrection and be delivered in the chariots of the most high which are uh so-called ufos according to people but those are the chariots of the living power according to psalms 104 and 3 ezekiel the first chapter zechariah the fifth chapter uh uh it speaks all up and down the scriptures about the chariots okay um revelation 1 and 7 all right. It says uh, on such the second death has no power because that second death is going to be those thermonuclear missiles raining down on America. And so those the two thirds, the heathen, they're all going to receive that first death, man. All right. The second death. I mean, Salakia, the second death, that second death is those those missiles coming to destroy. And so uh, it says on such the second death has no power because they're the elect are not going to be destroyed by those missiles. The elect are going to go up into the chambers of the most high spoken in Isaiah 26 and 20. You know, and actually, let me get that. This is Isaiah 26 and 20. It says, come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. So that's talking about the second death, man. Come hide in the chariots, all right, and hide thyself from the indignation, the righteous anger and judgment from the Lord till the indignation be overpassed, till the judgment be overpassed, man. All right. Uh, it says for a little moment because we're going to come out of the heavens, Lord willing, as that new and great city, heavens and earth. All right. It's spoken in Revelation, the 21st chapter. All right. It says. But they shall be priests of the Most High and of Hamashiach and shall reign with him a thousand years. All right. So it's, a, it's going to be priests with the Most High, man. Okay. Let me see if I can find that. I think it's Revelation, the fifth chapter. Okay. It says Revelation 5 and 10. And has made us unto, unto our power kings and priests. We shall reign on the earth. All right. So, you know, people will try to say, uh, well, everybody's kings and priests and that, you know, that. but this is all stumbling blocks that the Lord set up, man. All right. This is uh, first Peter two and nine. OK, matter of fact, I'll start at one just for understanding. It says first Peter one and one. It says Peter, an apostle of Yahweh, and Mashiach to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia and Bithynia. All right. Strangers scattered. Those are talking about the elect that are strangers elect according to the foreknowledge of the most high through sanctification of the spirit unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh Shai and Mashiach. Grace unto you and peace be multiplied. All right. So this speaking unto the elect of the nation of Israel. So first Peter two and nine. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of the darkness in this marvelous light. OK, nation of uh, kings and priests. All right. That goes back to Je uh, Deuteronomy seven and six. OK, that's how you know who that's talking about. OK, let me get back to Revelation. OK, uh, so this is uh, Revelation 20 and seven. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. So that's not talking about. Satan's down in a jail with uh, with chains on and he's about to get free. That's not what's going to happen, man. Uh, uh, the thousand, this going back to the thousand years when uh, the Edomites were in the caves and now they'd be loosed out of their prison, man. OK, and shall go out to deceive the nations, which are in the fourth four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog to gather them together to battle the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. All right. So if you worry about the uh, uh, Job. 
We get Joe. This is Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Okay? So the earth is given into the hand of the wicked so he can deceive the nations, which are in the four quarters of the earth. Okay? And they went upon the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about in the beloved city. And fire came down from out of heaven and devoured them. All right, so that fire coming out of heaven is going to be those thermonuclear missiles coming down to destroy the uh, the heathen, completely annihilate America, which is Babylon the Great, according to the Bible. Uh, and these are the nations along with the chariots. OK, and the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone. All right. So when it's talking about that lake of fire, it's not speaking about a fiery pit where you go and spend eternal damnation as spoken in Roman Catholicism and uh, Paradise Lost, you know, and all of those types of things, man. All right. That lake of fire is going to be because America is going to be a lake of fire and brimstone, just like he rained down fire and brimstone from Sodom and Gomorrah. OK, it says cast into that lake of fire. That lake of fire is America, man. When it's destroyed by 200 million missiles, according to prophecy, okay, where the beast and the false prophet are, okay. So the uh, the beast ultimately is talking about like EU and NATO, but the they have this beast system that they have put forth on the earth, man. So this beast system has to be destroyed. This Westernization and American philosophy has to be destroyed. All right, the false prophet uh, prophesying that they do here. All right, telling the world things are going to turn out one way when that's not the spirit of the Lord. They're not coming in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And it says, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. So that forever and ever is going to be those thousand years of, of torment. Because Esau, the beat based on the beat system, is going to be destroyed after those thousand years, according to Obadiah 1 and 18. Okay? So uh, that's, that's part one uh, of Revelation, uh, the 20th chapter. You know, I did verses 1 through 10. You know, Lord willing, I can do uh, 10 through 15. Matter of fact, maybe I can just run through it real quick. Salakia is uh, Revelation 20 and 11. And I saw a great white throne in him that sat on it. All right. So my Yahweh from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away and there was found no pla no more place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before the Most High, and the books were opened. All right, so you know the books were opened by Yahweh Shai. All right, um, we can get that in Revelation fifth chapter. I'm just hoping my battery doesn't die. All right, six percent. Revelation fifth chapter. This is Revelation five and uh, three. And no man in heaven nor on earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book. All right, it's talking about the scriptures. All right, because Daniel twelve and eight says it was sealed until the end of the days. All right, until the Lord is about to return. OK, and no man in heaven nor on earth under the earth, neither under the earth was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open the book, to read the book, neither to look thereon. All right. So nobody was able to understand the scriptures in totality and understand this, the wisdom and knowledge that was seeping, that was holding, that was holding in it. But now the Lord is unopened that through Yahweh Shai. And one of the elders saith unto me. Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, which is Yahweh the root of David. The root means his sperm, his son, his offspring hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. All right. So Yahweh is the one who was able to open the book. All right. So it says and the books were opened and another book and another book was opened, which is the book of life. All right. This is the book of life, man. OK. When you know, people try to say uh, it's a book that the Lord is holding. And if your name isn't in it, this is the book of life, man. And the dead were judged out of those things which are written in the books according to the wor their works. All right. So that dead is speaking about one to two thirds of the nation of Israel. All right. Because the Lord says there are dead bodies walking this place. Revelation 11 and 7. 11 and 8. OK, it says, uh, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. It's talking about America, man. And these this B system that they have, uh, they're, they're having dead bodies. Right? They have no knowledge and understanding of the heavenly father. So the dead are going to be judged out of the things that were written in them because we're supposed to keep the law to the best of our ability and believe on the Lord. All right. Uh, according to their works, because they do all the wicked things, because, you know, Matthew, Matthew 12 and 30 says uh out of thy words shall thou be condemned and out of thy words thou shalt be judged 
All right. Every every idle word that man shall speak. OK, it says and the sea gave up the dead which were in it and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. All right. So according to your works. All right. The Lord, the, the Lord says uh, a man that lay with mankind, he shall, uh, that lays with a woman, he shall surely be put to death and his blood shall be upon him. All right. So these are examples of the death coming unto the people according to their works and the things that they did against the men of the Lord, uh, his prophets. It says, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. All right. So all of the things that um, that these people have done are going to be done away with because they, that lake of fire is going to be those thermonuclear missiles. That's the second death, man. OK. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. So the written in the book of life in order to be written in the book of life, you have to go to Revelations, the seventh chapter and read one through nine primarily and speaking about the 144,000, 12,000 from each tribe uh, of the nation of Israel and those uh, who are scattered abroad in the ninth chapter by way of slavery, captivity, migration, sex, all of those different things. Those are Israelites who are scattered abroad. Okay. So uh, that's Revelation, the 20th chapter. The Lord willing, this is edifying. I want to give all praise unto Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessing, and mercy uh, to the house of David, the elect. Shalom.